Welcome boys and girls. This is your video about the science assignment for Tuesday, September 8th. So let's take a look at that in our classroom for a moment. Let me share that with you. All right, so here is our science assignment. And it says that today we're gonna read a page entitled Nutrients Give Us Food Energy. After reading that page, you're gonna choose one of the scenarios from the list near the bottom and write a few sentences telling whether you think it would result in a sustainable or unsustainable diet. So sustainable means that it can keep lasting on and on. Unsustainable means it's going to run out. So let's take a look at this reading passage, maybe. If I can find it. All right. Okay, so let's take a look here and we can read it together. Nutrients give us food energy. In order for people and animals to grow and become strong, we need to eat plenty of nutrients. Some nutrients you might have heard of are proteins, fiber, fat, carbohydrates, also known as carbs, vitamins, and minerals. Proteins help our bodies grow strong, carbohydrates give us energy, and fiber helps us digest the food we eat. There are healthy fats like those in nuts and fish, and unhealthy fats like the ones in sugary snacks. Vitamins and minerals help keep us strong and protect us from getting sick. It's important to eat all of these nutrients every day in order to keep your body working the way it should be. Okay, so here is a picture of a plate and it's a suggestion of what you should have on your plate at every meal. So you should have some good fats, some protein, some carbohydrates at every meal. Okay, let's look at a sustainable diet. Sustain means to keep for a long time. And diet is what we eat. So a sustainable diet is what we eat over a long period of time. An example of a sustainable diet is eating a good balance of each type of nutrient every day. An unsustainable diet would be when a person or animal does not have a good balance in what they eat. Too much of one type of food and not enough of another can lead to weakness or sickness. So now you're going to decide if these scenarios would be sustainable or unsustainable. So we don't have a group to discuss with, so we're not going to discuss with your group. I just want you to choose one and decide if it would result in a sustainable or an unsustainable diet. And then you're going to use this page There we go, you should have that one now. And tell me if it would result in a sustainable or unsustainable diet and then write a few sentences to explain your answer. So these are the same scenarios that are at the bottom of the other page. I'd like you to place an X next to the scenario you choose. So here are the scenarios you have to choose from. A child refuses to eat anything except hot dogs. The next one is a person who drinks water instead of soda. The next one is all the rabbits in the forest ecosystem are killed by disease, so hawks cannot find food. A squirrel who stores enough acorns to last the winter. And the last one is a river dries up and a bear cannot find fish. So you're going to choose one, then decide if that is going to result in a sustainable or unsustainable diet. You're going to Right here, you're going to write a few sentences to explain your answer. So tell me which scenario you chose, whether it would result in a sustainable or unsustainable diet, and why you think that is true. Why would it be sustainable or why would it be unsustainable? All right, awesome job. And everyone should be ready to do their science now and then um, we will work some more on our energy unit this week and take a quiz about it on Friday. So.
Have a great day, and I hope you have fun with the science. Bye-bye.